Welcome to the lecture on mathematical finance. After we have discussed in detail the optimal stopping problem, I would like to address now the question of how to hedge American contingent claims. And the main goal will be to prove a theorem which states that in an arbitrage-free financial market model, completeness is equivalent to the fact that every American contingent claim is attainable. So let us have first a look at the fact what does it mean that an American contingent claim is attainable. So, so here it is. is. So, so again, again I consider a financial market model as bar consisting of this price process as not T of our risk-free security and this d-dimensional vector of the price process of our risky securities. And moreover, I consider an American contingent claim denoted here by C. And then I call that claim attainable if the following holds true, namely if there exists a self-financing trading strategy, again denoted by H bar, and a stopping time, tau star, taken from the set of all admissible stopping times, such that the following holds true. On the one hand, the discounted value process should dominate the discounted American contingent claim, meaning that VH bar of T should be larger or equal to CT divided by S not T, P almost surely for every time point T taken from our index set. And on the other hand, the discounted value process evaluated at that particular stopping time tall star should be equal to the discounted American contingent claim evaluated at that stopping time toaster. And if such a uh, self-financing training strategy and stopping time exist, I would like to call that pair a hedging strategy for our American contingent claim C. And before discussing properties of uh, this discounted value process for an attainable American contingent claim, let us discuss a little bit in more detail the, the way this is defined here. Recall that in for American contingent claims, we asked in the definition that equality should hold true at that stage, namely, namely that the discounted value process at the time point capital T should be equal to the discounted European contingent claim at time point capital T. So, but for American contingent claim, it makes no sense to ask for equality at that stage. Why? Well, we know that um, this process over here, due to this domination, is non-negative. Hence, theorem 2.7c or theorem 2.12 immediately implies that under this Martingale measure Q, uh, this process over here, so the discounted value process, is a martingale. However, on the other hand, there is no reason to believe that our discounted value process should be a martingale. In general, it's just an adapted stochastic process. So hence, you see, there is no reason why we should ask for equality at that stage. And that's why the, in the definition of attainability relies on that uh, domination property. And such a hedging strategy with that domination property is also sometimes called a super hedging strategy. So let us now look at properties of that discounted value process for an attainable American contingent claim. So and for that, I would like to consider as usual a financial market model. And I would like to assume that this financial market model is free of arbitrage and moreover I would like to consider an attainable American contingent claim denoted here by C. And then the following holds true. So first of all for any equivalent martingale measure the discounted value process is integrable meaning that this ratio CT divided by S not T is in L to Q for any time point T taken from our index set. And moreover, it holds true that for any hedging strategy for our American contingent claim, 
uh, and the denoting the corresponding stopping time again by tor star, it holds true that for every um, uh, equivalent martingale measure, the discounted value process evaluated at the stopping time um, t minimum tor star is equal to the conditional expectation under this measure q of the random variable uh, c tor star divided by s not tor star. And this holds true q almost surely and for every time point t taken from our index set i. But not only that, we also know that the initial value of our discounted value process is equal to the expected value of this discounted American contingent claim evaluated at that particular time tor star. And that expression over here is equal to the value of the corresponding optimal stopping problem. Namely, I consider here the supremum over all admissible stopping times tor of the expected value under this equivalent martingale measure Q of the discounted American contingent claim evaluated at tor. And from that um, fact over here, one can easily derive the following properties. Namely, first of all, the initial value of our discounted American contingent claim is independent of the choice of the hedging strategy. And on the other hand, the optimal stopping problem is independent of the choice of the equivalent martingale measure Q. So let us have a look at the proof of the theorem. So since we assume that the American contingent claim is attainable, we know that there exists the self-financing trading strategy H bar for this American contingent claim C with corresponding stopping time tor star. And moreover, Due to the fact that we assume that the financial market model is free of arbitrage, we know that the set of all equivalent martingale measures is non-empty by the first fundamental theorem of asset prices. Hence, we can pick one equivalent martingale measure denoted here by Q. And since Q is equivalent to P, it immediately follows that um, the discounted value process dominates the discounted American contingent claim, also Q almost surely for any time point T in our index set. And moreover, we know that the American uh, contingent claim by definition is non-negative. Our numerator is positive, hence this ratio is non-negative. This implies in particular that this discounted value process at the time point capital T is non-negative. Hence, we can conclude from theorem 2.7c that the discounted value process is a martingale under Q. And that is now useful because for various reasons, and one application is over here. So if I want to compute the expected value under this equivalent martingale measure Q of the modulus of the discounted American contingent claim at time point T, then this thing is first of all the same as just the expectation due to the fact that this random variable over here is non-negative. And from the fact that this discounted American contingent claim at time point T is dominated by the discounted value process, we get the following inequality. And now we can use that um, the discounted value process is a martingale under Q meaning that uh, we also know that a VTH bar is integrable. That's why that expected value, which is non-negative, um, so is uh, finite. So, and here we take advantage of the fact that that random variable over here is also non-negative. And this shows that the discounted American contingent claim indeed is an integrable process. So let us focus now on how to derive that representation over here. So and for that, I would like to take advantage of the optimal stopping problem, which tells us that for any um, uh, bounded stopping time, for instance, 
and this stopped martingale is again a martingale. So meaning we know that the expected value under this measure Q of uh, the discounted value process evaluated at the stopping time uh, capital T minimum tau star given the sigma algebra Ft is equal to the random variable um, Vh bar at the time point uh, little t minimum tau star Q almost truly. Uh, and on the other hand, since tall star is bounded from above by t, you see this minimum is clearly achieved at tall star. So that's why we get that representation over here. And now remember that this stopping time tall star was a particular stopping time, namely that stopping time where the discounted value process coincide with the discounted American contingent claim. Hence, we can we obtain here that um, representation, namely that the discounted value process at that time point t minimum tau star is equal to the conditional expectation of the discounted American contingent claim evaluated at tau star given the sigma algebra ft. And this holds true q almost surely. So and on the other hand, if we choose now any stopping time tall from the set of all admissible stopping times, meaning we know a priori that the stopping time tall is bounded from above by capital T. We can apply um, Dupes optional stopping theorem, so this was theorem um, 1.21a, which tells us the following. So on the one hand we know that the expected value under this equivalent martingale measure Q of the discounted value process evaluated at the stopping time tau star is equal to the um, expected value of the discounted value process at the initial time point zero and due to the fact that the sigma algebra f naught is trivial we also know that this random variable over here is q almost surely deterministic so this is the same as um, the value v naught of h bar and on the other hand we know that at that particular time point tau star the discounted value process coincide with the discounted american contingent claim and that expected value over here we can dominate simply by taking the supremum over all admissible stopping times and um, and then we this results into uh, considering that optimal stopping problem. But now you see, uh, we also know that for any time point t, the discounted American contingent claim is dominated from above by the value of the discounted value process. And since uh, the random uh, stopping time takes here only t plus one possible values, we also can conclude that uh, this expected value over here, simply by writing it as a sum and an indicator function in tau is equal to t, then we can use the domination for any time point t, and then we bring the sum again inside by the expected value under q of the discounted value process evaluated at this random time tau. And now again by applying uh, Dupes optional stopping theorem, we know that that expected value over here coincides with the expected value uh, under Q of the random variable VH bar naught, which is again Q almost truly deterministic. So that's by that argument will result in the following. The left hand side is VH bar naught, the right hand side is VH bar naught, meaning that all the inequalities which appears in that argument should actually be equalities. And this tells us immediately that the initial value of the discounted value process h uh, bar is on the one hand equal to the expected value of the American contingent claim at this particular stopping time tau star and this is also equal to the value of the um, optimal stopping product which tells us that this stopping time tau star which was given to us in the hatching strategy is an optimal stopping time. 
And from that equation or these two equalities over here, we immediately conclude uh, that the following holds true. So if you give yourself two different hedging strategies in V bar H1 and V bar H2 for this American contingent claim C, and uh, then um, by using exactly um, this, uh, that VH bar naught is equal to that um, optimal um, stopping problem, that uh, we can represent that initial value of our um, uh, discounted value process in terms of this optimal stopping problem. But this is the same also as the initial value of the discounted value process under this trading strategy H bar 2 because um, this stopping problem is independent of the choice of the trading strategy. And on the other hand, for every um, equivalent martingale measure Q1 and Q2 taken from the set of all martingale measures, we know that the optimal stopping problem with respect to this equivalent martingale measure Q1 is equal to the value of the discounted value process at time point zero, which is independent of the choice of the um, equivalent martingale measure due to the fact that that thing is just a real number. So that's why we can apply again this inequality which we just derived and conclude that that is also equ uh, equal to the optimal stopping problem under this measure Q2. Hence, we have proven that theorem. So as a corollary of that theorem, I would like to focus now on um, the following. I consider an arbitrage-free financial market model and I consider an American contingent claim. And I would like to assume that the discounted American contingent claim is a sub-martingale under a given equivalent martingale measure Q. And uh, then it holds true that the American contingent claim C is attainable if and only if the European contingent claim, which we simply obtain from the American one by evaluating it at the time point capital T, is attainable. And in particular, then we know that the solution of our optimal stopping problem is given in terms of the expected value under this measure Q of the discounted American contingent claim evaluated at this time point capital T. Um, meaning that this deterministic time capital T is indeed an optimal stopping time. So let us have a look at the proof. So and I would like to first prove the direction that if the American contingent claim is attainable, then it implies that the corresponding European contingent claim is also attainable. So in, uh, in that direction, I proceed as follows. So first of all, due to the fact that the American contingent claim is attainable, we know that there exists a self-financing training strategy H bar and the stopping time tau star, such that P almost surely the following holds true. So on the one hand, the discounted value process with respect to the training strategy H bar dominates the discounted American contingent claim. And moreover, at this particular stopping time, T star, we know that equality holds true. So, and now I would like to apply Dupe's optional sampling theorem, and so, which tells us the following. So, if I take a stopping time from the set of all admissible stopping time, meaning that the stopping time tau is bounded from above by capital T, then I know um, that on the one hand, this conditional expectation of this discounted American contingent claim C tau divided by C naught tau given F capital T is bounded from above, due to the fact that the stopping time is bounded from above by capital T, by the random variable C 
capital T divided by S not capital T. So and if I now take expectations on both sides, then I can use on the one hand the definition of the condition expectation, which tells me nothing else that uh, that expectation of the condition expectation is nothing else but the expected value of this discounted American contingent claim evaluated at that random uh, time tor under this measure Q. And on the other hand, I can use now the domination property and the fact that also Q is equivalent to P, which also tells me that under Q almost surely, this American, this discounted American contingent claim is dominated by the corresponding value of the discounted value process. And by similar consideration, namely using the fact that by theorem 2.7c, uh, the discounted value process is a martingale under Q. And here I use the fact that simply this random variable bh bar capital T is uh, Q almost surely positive and uh, non-negative. And that I can now use, uh, apply this Dukes optional sampling theorem to this martingale. So here I use the sub-martingale property to get that inequality. Now I use the martingale um, property to conclude that the conditional expectation of the discounted value process at that random time when uh, tau star given the sigma algebra f capital T is equal um, to the value of the discounted value process at time point capital T. And here I use simply the property of the conditional expectation which allows me to rewrite that um, expectation of the conditional expectation in terms of simply the expected value of VH bar tau star and tau star was a particular stopping time, namely that stopping time where the discounted value process coincide with the discounted American contingent claim. So we derived these two um, statements and now I would like to combine these two statements. So first of all I know that the um, expected value under Q of the discounted value process as time point capital T is equal to the expected value under Q of this discounted American contingent claim um, evaluated at that time point uh, tau star. And since tau star is also contained in the set of all admissible stopping times by that inequality over here, uh, I can simply uh, bound that random variable from above by, so here that's that step, by the um, expected value under Q of the discounted value of them, uh, the discounted American contingent claim evaluated at the time point capital T, which is by domination uh, nothing uh, bounded from above by the expected value of um, our discounted value process at time point capital T. So on both sides we have that expected value, meaning that these two inequality signs actually have to be equality signs. So, and moreover, we know that uh, by bringing then uh, that value on the other side, so I consider now that inequality over here, so that is an inequality, I can write zero as the expected value under Q of the difference of V of H bar T minus C T divided by S naught T. And in order to conclude, I can now write uh, the addition factor one simply as the indicator function that the discounted value process at time point capital T is larger or equal to the discounted American contingent claim at time point capital T plus the corresponding inequality function where it's strictly less. But since we know that P and therefore also Q almost surely this inequality holds true, the other indicator function has simply, or the other event has simply pro uh, Q probability zero. That's why um, we can neglect that part. 
because the then also the expected value is zero. So and what is now the advantage of that representation? So on that event, we know that this difference is non-negative. So we have here a non-negative random variable with those expectation is equal to zero. Hence, this random variable has to be a Q almost truly equal to zero. But uh, since um, um, whenever we pick an, an omega such that this event holds true, meaning that this indicator function is one, this simply then means that this true and a variable have to be the same. Whereas when we pick an omega such that this thing is zero, this is taken from a Q, Q null set. So meaning by that representation we can conclude that indeed the discounted value process at time point capital T is equal to the discounted American contingent claim at time point capital T. But this simply tells us that this chosen hatching strategy, so that self-financing training strategy, is indeed a replicating strategy for that European contingent claim. Hence, we have proven the first direction. Let us now address the other direction. So let us assume that the European contingent claim C capital T is attainable. So meaning we have, we know that there exists a self-financing trading strategy such that the corresponding discounted value process at maturity coincides with the uh, discounted European contingent claim, P almost sure. Moreover, we know that the discounted uh, American contingent claim is a submartingale. Hence, by applying theorem 1.12, um, we know also uh, that um, if we now compute here uh, the expected value uh, of uh, this discounted uh, European contingent claim given the sigma algebra ft, that this thing is equal to the discounted value process at time point uh, uh, little t. But on the other hand, uh, we also know uh, by the um, uh, sub Martingale property that this condition expectation is larger or equal than the value ct divided by s naught of t q almost truly. So which tells us first of all that this discounted value process dominates um, the discounted American contingent claim q almost truly and since q is equivalent to p we also know that this is holds true p almost truly so that's the first statement. And on the other hand by simply setting this uh, stopping time tall star of omega equal to capital T for all time, uh, all omegas taken from our set of uh, capital omega, we see, and any deterministic time is also stopping time, we see that this uh, defined uh, object tall star is contained in the set of all admissible stopping times, meaning that uh, by definition over here uh, of our um, uh, self-financing training strategy for the European contingent claim, we know that equality holds true. So meaning that also the discounted value process at that random uh, time coincides with the corresponding value of the discounted American contingent claim. Hence, both conditions of an hatching strategy for the American contingent claim holds true. Hence, we have shown that also in that particular situation, the American contingent claim is attainable. And in particular, we know that in that situation, that um, by theorem 4.4b, that uh, the optimal stopping problem uh, is, uh, can be expressed in terms of the expected value of the discounted American contingent claim at the stopping time which appears in the uh, hatching strategy and you see that uh, value here is simply 
the time of maturity. Meaning, the time of maturity is simply an optimal stopping time in this particular situation. And that concludes then the proof of that corollary. To, to sum up here, so we have seen that on the one hand, um, this uh, time of maturity is an optimal stopping time, which tells us that we should not uh, exercise an American um, contingent claim, which has that particular property, namely that the corresponding discounted American contingent claim is a sub martingale before uh, the time of maturity from bias perspective.